Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're located in Frederick, Colorado, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We're right off I-25, so a super convenient location if you want to come check us out in person. Uh, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers, uh, but we also take in a lot of trades. So a lot of people will trade in their other trailers in order to buy a new one. And our shop does a whole lot of things to make sure that these are the best used trailers out there. So right now, this trailer is still waiting to go through our shop, but everything has been leaving so quickly that we figured we'd give you a sneak peek since this one's really clean. Um, we did take it to the acid wash, so we've already taken care of that problem. Um, got it all cleaned up so that you guys can check this out. So right up here, um, this is a 2019 Logan Co. Try It four horse gooseneck. And this is a really neat little setup. We actually had this trailer the first time around and they stepped up from, this is set up more like a weander, they stepped up, up into a full LQ. So it's kind of nice that we get these back in. We know who owned them. We know um, kind of what they've been used for. It's nice to have a little bit of history on these trailers. Um, this trailer right here is 20, a little over 26 feet on the floor. You're seven three wide, so you've got a little bit bigger stalls, um, and you're seven tall. We've got a four foot nine, uh, or sorry, a four foot three front dressing room that we've kind of converted into more of that weekender setup. So you've got an AC, some outlets, um, and kind of a panel insulate in there. So you can throw a mattress up in there, be very comfortable if you're just going over overnight somewhere and you don't want to have to get a hotel. It's also got a five foot mid tack, so a nice size mid tack, lots of saddles, lots of bridle hooks. Um, and then you've got oversized stalls on this trailer, so they're actually 40 inches wide. Um, so your horses will be really comfortable uh, traveling in this trailer. So one of the things I want to point out is um, on a lot of our used trailers, you'll see if you're walking a lot around this lot, um, you'll see a little pink ribbon. This one I said has not gone through our shop yet, but I wanted to kind of talk about some of the things that'll happen to it when it does go through. So since this is a non-LQ, it's gonna go through what we call our dirty shop. Um, so you will, it, they'll go through brakes, bearings, electrical, make sure all the doors are operating properly, make sure all the drop downs are working, are in working order. They've got a big long list of things that they check on these trailers and then it goes to the manager for approval for sign off. So you know they're gonna to touch all the safety things, um, but they also address a lot of the cosmetic issues on these trailers. Um, and then the big thing that they do here at Trans West is they actually put these trailers on an alignment machine. So a lot of people, one of the biggest things you can have go wrong with your trailer is you can have a blowout and you can be stranded on the side of the road. So by aligning those axles, um, you're helping prevent uneven tire wear, which can lead to blowouts. So it's just another step that our shop goes through to make sure our used trailers are the best out there. We've been selling Logans for a very long time. Um, they're a galvanized steel frame trailer with aluminum sheeting. The nice thing about this galvanized steel, a lot of people think steel and they think rust. Um, these trailers are, the galvanized steel is actually infused with zinc during um, the creation of it. So that zinc not only makes it stronger, but it also helps prevent it from, from a lot of that rust that you'll see on trailers. This is a used trailer, so it doesn't come with warranties, but if you were to build one just like this, you would get a two-year hitch to bumper, an eight-year structural, and a limited lifetime warranty against any structural corrosion. They don't believe they're ever gonna have any issue with that, so they like to saddle that first uh, owner with a really, really good warranty. You'll notice here that you've got kind of a bed liner type material. This is what Logan calls their vortex lining. So as a step further to protect that galvanized steel is they actually use this vortex lining. You'll see it kind of all over the trailer. There's gonna be a lot of it in the horse area. Um, if this trailer had wood floors, you would have the vortex lining on the wood. Um, this trailer has what's called a whizproof floor with sure grip. So the whiz proof is actually aluminum, an aluminum deck um, with, with slats in it to drain. 
and they do coat that aluminum in this vortex lining to help protect it from any corrosion that might happen. Under here, you do have an onboard battery. So we've got the ability to operate all the lights um, when you're not hooked up, which is just a really nice feature. This battery disconnect is something that you'll see on most of our trailers at TransWest. Um, it's something that we do on just about every inventory trailer that has a battery. Um, it's really nice because if somebody leaves the light on and you go to drop this trailer, if you had an electric over hydraulic jack and you're, you killed your battery, you would have to hand pump that up and down. This is a single leg jack, so you're not going to have that issue as long as you can still crank it up and down. But say you ever wanted to add an electric over hydraulic jack on this trailer, this battery disconnect really comes in handy. Right under here, um, this is a fun little feature that Logan does on all their goosenecks. Um, it's a little LED light that you can use while you're trying to hook up at night or if you need to operate this. It just throws some nice light down here. You can see where your trailer stops so you don't ram into the back of it. Um, just really convenient little LED light there. So I mentioned before that they did kind of a finished front dressing room on this trailer. So it's a four foot three short wall here. You've got a little sliding screen door, which is really cool. So you can keep all the bugs out. I mean, horse shows, you've got flies and everything. Um, so you've got a little sliding screen door. They've got this finished interior. So it's a panel on insulate with this wall board. Um, I think it looks really nice. And also it'll keep whoever's in here a little more temperate. So they're not gonna get as hot or as cold. We've got this Dometic um, air conditioner with heat strip on it. Um, the heat strips really only work above 40 degrees, but it'll definitely take the chill out of the air. Um, you've also got a little outlet up there, so if you need to plug in an accessory heat source, you can, or charge your phone. If you're at these shows and things are taking a long time, maybe you want to um, charge up your phone right there. It's nice to have a little, little outlet bed up in the nose um, with windows on either side. Like I said, they used it as kind of a weekender setup. Um, it's just really nice to have something that's, that's a little finished without going to the full LQ. They decided to eventually move that direction, but I know that they got a lot of good use out of this. We've got bridle hooks all along. So that was something that they added on, um, the additional six bridle hooks over there. They just wanted a little extra storage um, a little more hanging space. It's the nice thing about these custom built trailers is that as long as the engineers sign off on it, they're usually game to try a lot of things. And then once again, you'll notice all these LED lights in here. Um, they're on switches, so they're really easy to operate and they throw off a lot of really nice light without using a lot of power draw. So on the exterior of this trailer, you'll notice that they use the 050 aluminum in the charcoal metallic. This is a hugely popular color at Logan. I get a lot of people requesting this color. I think it just looks really clean and cool, um, especially around uh, against like a silver or black truck, something that a lot of people ask for. And the nice thing about Logan is they've got eight different color options. And unless there's some sort of surcharge in effect, for something that's in low supply, they don't upcharge for additional color options. So you've got kind of the pick of, of your choices um, to make this trailer exactly how you want it. I mentioned you have a lot of bridle, bridle hooks, um, blanket bars, and saddle racks. So you've got on each door, this five foot mid tack has a pass through door on either side. Um, you've got the four tier swing out blanket bars, the brush box, and the four tier saddle rack on a swing out. The really nice thing about this setup is if you're hauling four horses, you can tack two on one side and two on the other side. Generally, you're gonna be going with a friend or a family member, so you don't wanna to have to get in each other's way all the time. You can each pick a side and you can, you can tack up without having to run in and out of each other. Up there on that mid tack, you do have a clothes bar. So if you do need to hang some show shirts or anything, like that. It's kind of dead space in that trailer, so it's really nice to have some good hanging space. 
keep everything off the ground and free of wrinkles. More bridle hooks in here. This is this trailer. You can bring every bridle you own, every halter you own. <laughs> I think I think you'll find that they've got it really set up nicely. Um, there's carpeting behind all your bridle hooks. So not only does it keep your bridles really nice, um, but it's also quieter for your horses. They don't want to have to listen to your bit swing back and forth and clank against the galvanized steel as you go down the road. Once again, LED lights in there as well. From the exterior on this side, you do have two LED awning lights. Um, so if you are tacking up at night, you will be able to see what you're doing, which is a really nice feature. Nobody wants to be in the dark. Another thing we do at all our used trailers here at TransWest is we check their tires when they come in. So since we are a dealership, every tire has to be within five years of production and with good and even wear. So this trailer right here, Logan does a really nice job when they build their trailers of highlighting the DOT code for us. So this is a great example. If you have a trailer that you want to trade in, sometimes we will ask for the DOT code. It is this four digit number here. The first two digits are the week of production. The second two digits are the year of production. So we know from this code right here that this tire was produced in the 12th week of 2019. So these tires are well within their date codes. Um, they have good even wear. So these, these tires will not be replaced, but keep that in mind if you get a trade-in value from us and we say we have to replace tires, even if they're in good condition, if they're over five years old, we will have to account for replacing them. We feel like a lot of people are okay with that because they would want the same thing if they were to roll out of here in one of our used trailers. They wanna make sure that um, they have good running gear underneath these trailers and so we have some stricter rules that we abide by than somebody that you would buy a trailer from from Craigslist. We've got tie rings on the exterior on either side. So once again, really easy. You can throw a couple horses on this side, a couple on that side, have plenty of room to hook up. Maybe your friend doesn't have enough tie rings and you need to throw a couple more horses on here um, to, to load up. You've got extra saddle storage. You can be a buddy there. So right back here, you have a nice wide opening. Um, it's 50-50 doors on the rear here. You're 7-3 wide, so standard on a, on a trailer is 6-9. Um, you'll notice you'll have a little bit of fender on the inside, but it just makes it so much more inviting for your horses to get in somewhere where they have lots of room to stretch out and be comfortable. This is a huge seller right here for a Logan trailer. This is one of the reasons we sell so many of these Logans. It's their whiz proof flooring with sure grip. So a lot of people will do poly last in their trailers. The issue with that is that you have to drill holes in your floor. When you drill holes in the floor, you're compromising the structural integrity of it. We really like these Logan floors because they are set up to drain. So if I threw a five gallon bucket of water on here, it would probably go right through this floor. It'd work out really quickly. And I know that this floor was engineered and designed to do that. So if you look here, they always put a, a handy little um, picture right here of what their floor looks like underneath. So as I mentioned, you've got those extruded aluminum floor planks underneath. Um, they're coated in this vortex lining right here. Um, and you've got that, that uh, sure grip on top. They've done some studies on the sure grip and they found that um, horses are a little more comfortable on these trailers because no matter how tight we fit a rubber mat, there's still gonna be some slippage and sliding also, you're usually going to have to put down quite a bit of shavings on a rubber mat because those are slick, especially if a horse urinates on them. You don't want a horse to have to go down because it, they don't have enough grip. So this um, sure grip flooring actually helps prevent a lot of the micro vibrations of the road that they feel through the road. So they have the ability to relax a little bit more because they're not just getting jarred the entire time as well as they know that the floor is not going to move out from underneath them. When this is wet, it's got a lot of grip to it, so the majority of people will not put shavings down. If you've got a gelding or something that doesn't like it when anything splashes on his legs, 
I've seen people do that, but um, these floors are super easy to, to upkeep. Um, just get yourself a power washer and hose it out after, after you're done, um, and you should be good to go. So in here, you've got a, the ability to telescope this last divider in, which is really nice because you can just clip this one back um, so if you need to haul with this open for some reason, maybe you've got some air folds or something that you need to move, um, you, can, you can fold all of these back. Really easy to use. These are padded, they're extruded aluminum dividers, so they're a little more heavy duty than you'll see on a lot of trailers. In this first stall, you have a stud divider. Um, some people most people don't have studs on I'd say on the average that I talk to um, but they do like a lot of extra storage so this trailer doesn't have mangers on it so you might feel that you want to if you're just hauling three you might want to throw your hay bales or something up in this first stall some coolers some buckets um, and you're not going to have to worry about them sliding back into your horses got roof vents over each stall um, they're standard issue roof vents. They go either direction, so you can manipulate the air either to be sucked in or pushed out. Um, you've got your LED lights, one on each stall in here as well. Nice and bright for your horses to get in and out of. If you've got a horse that's maybe really tall, help prevent them from bumping their heads coming out if they decide to throw their head up. So on this side over here, um, you've got the drop downs on the head side. We had bus windows on the hip side. I like that Logan, they have these little screens on them so you can feel confident going down the road that you're not gonna have flies and dirt and debris flying up into your horse's eyes if you decided to run with the drop down down. Go. Really easy to use. I like these, these are the um, framed in drop downs that Logan makes. I think they're a huge upgrade over that piano hinge um, factory style one that they can create. Uh, I find that a lot of people really like the usability of these drop downs. This little bar here, you can just pull down so you don't have to be super tall to operate this. On these riots, you have the extruded aluminum sides um, like you do on some of their LQs. So you've got upgraded protection. It kind of helps keep that trailer nice and straight going down the road. A lot of trailers, especially the older ones, they'll what you call breathe. Um, so that's when it flexes with just the weight of everything going in and out. So having a stronger extruded aluminum side sheets are very helpful in preventing or pr protecting the rigidity of that trailer. Little running lights on the exterior. I like all these button lights on the top rail. Um, people kind of be able to see at night, uh, see what you're trying to do. Right here on our Logans, you've got this little jack buddy here. This is really nice if you ever have an issue, maybe you run over a screw or something, um, you can uh, drive up onto this jack without having to crank your trailer up. Right here, you've got your 30 amp plug. So if you want to run that AC, you're not going to be doing it off of battery. A lot of people have been using those little portable Onan 4500s. They're light enough that you, if you're strong enough, you, you yourself can put them in your pickup. I'd like to grab a friend to be able to do that. But they're on wheels. We use them for the video trailer all the time. Um, but it's, it's something that you could easily throw in your trailer and, and use it without having a hookup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of this trailer today. Um, if this one's gone by the time you see it, just know it's something that we can replicate. We can build this trailer again. It's a really cool little layout. So you can always reference the stock number. Um, just go to transwest.com. It is 5U210429. This one will be run through our shop and it'll be ready to roll down the road. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have any questions, you can always call me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Love to answer any questions you guys have. Get you into a cool new trailer. Thanks.